we have been hearing since a childhood that man is a social animal and that men cannot live in isolation well in today's globalized world each and every country is a social animal and it would be insane for any country to think that it can live in isolation countries they are engaged with each other at various levels and for various purposes including but not limited to trade security social engagement cultural exchange and many more so let's zoom out have you ever wonder why china is spending so much on the foreign students by giving them hundreds and thousands of scholarship with healthy stipends why first world countries offer so many scholarship to the students from underdeveloped world why pakistan and india being in our travel since their birth have a very huge trade volume with each other why once a fascist nazi germany is now one of the renowned welfare state of the world and many other questions like these makes one wonder about the uncertainties in the world so the answer lies in understanding international relation and its current theories believe me when you go through this course you can expect to have a better understanding of the events happening in the world and how international politics work so you can relate and analyze them with the lens of international relations and its theories I am Neha Nasir along with my partner Mohammad Sakriya we are going to tell you about the basic concepts of international relations as we have recently graduated and like any understandably over excited with the area of specialization we want the people to appreciate the importance of international relations in everyday life so gets what we decided obviously a youtube channel to share discuss and appreciate international relations as a field of study so let's get started the beauty of ir is that there are no rights and wrongs in ir nor there are permanent enemies or friends there are no black and white areas however there are many gray areas the whole concept of international relations revolve around interest these interests decide what is wrong and what is right at the moment they decide who should be a friend and who should be enemy at that moment so if we start with the boring definition of international relation it is the study of the relations of state with each other with international organizations and a certain subnational entities like bureaucracy political parties and interest group etc it is also related to the numbers of other academic disciplines including political science geography history economics law sociology psychology and philosophy but we will take you through a journey which extends beyond the basic concepts and definitions and ideas of rights and wrong so this field the field of international relations emerged at the beginning of 20th century largely in the west and in particular in the united states as the country grew in power and influence whereas the study of international relations is newly founded soviet union and later in communist china which was stilified by officially imposed marxist ideology and what is marxist ideology well marxism posits that the struggle between social classes specifically between the bourgeoisie and the capitalists and the proletariat or we can say the working class defines economic relations in a capitalist economy and will inevitably lead to a revolutionary communism in the west the field flourished as a result of many factors number of factors a growing demand to find less dangerous and more effective means of conducting relations between people societies government and economies a surge of writing and research inspired by the belief that systematic observation and inquiry could dispel ignorance and serve human better and the polarizations of political affair including foreign affairs but wait aren't foreign affairs and international relations the same thing let's find out the difference together 
Then this new perspective was articulated by U.S. President Woodrow Wilson in 1913 in his program for the relations between the great powers following settlement of World War I. The first of his 14 points as his program came to be known was a call for open convenience of peace openly arrived at in the place of the secret treaty that believed to have and contributed to the outbreak of the war. The extreme devastation caused by the war strengthened the conviction among political leaders that was enough was known about the international relation and that universities should promote research and teaching on issues related to international relations and cooperation in war and peace. International relations evolved very rapidly after with the emergence of some classical and modern theories and has become one of the most important fields for the world. Don't worry yet why, how, when and all other questions this video may have striked will be answered in the subsequent video series. We have barely scratched the surface so far, so stay tuned. This is just an introduction to international relations. We will learn so much with more videos to come.